Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am going to talk about Anne of Greenville by Marika Tamaki. This one is being released or has been released on the 4th of October when you're watching this. So it will be after the release date when you're watching this. This is not the final cover by the way, the final cover I will pop here. It's very very cute. We have our main character Anne there and she looks adorable and uh, we're gonna try to talk about this book. I feel like it's a bit hard one to talk about. It uh, covers a lot of heavy themes and I don't think it quite hit right for me. So I'm gonna try to explain why. But yeah, basically this is supposed to be a modern reimagination of Anne of Green Gables. But we follow Anne of Greenville who is adopted and also half white and half Japanese and she has two moms. And they just moved to this small town in Greenville where they are very, very, I would say, old-fashioned and controversial and are not ready for someone in this town to have two moms or have someone in their school who is not completely white. In the beginning of the book, we have actually a whole trigger warning. It says, this story explores experiences relating to sexual and race identity, including some offensive language that may be triggering for readers. If this topic is sensitive to you, please read with care. I didn't realize how deep we were gonna go into these topics. Like, it was a lot, a lot of racist and homophobic shit in here, like a lot. I was actually surprised of how big focus it was in the book. You know, I didn't read the synopsis, so we have her coming to this new town and uh, she's trying to adjust to this life. Everyone is basically racist or homophobic, except like one other person whose name is Barry that she becomes quickly friends with. There's this school play she wants to play in and she's like a very quirky, happy, colorful person. People don't like that, so she's trying to tone herself down and then she realizes this doesn't help. And that's basically like the whole plot of the book. So why contemporary? I wouldn't like expect like a plot plot, which is fine. What's one thing is funny is that it's written Anne, of course, because Anne of Green Gables is also written Anne. And some people would say Annie, because it's ends with an E, and that's what you would say in like the US, I think UK maybe, some places you would say just Anne. So Anne or Annie, in no way, it's really normal to write your name with an E if your name is Anne, and we would say Anna, which is like completely different pronunciation. So like for me, I really used the name, but here they were not. <laughs> they were use the Annie, and I just thought it was funny to comment on the name. But you know, the series with like based on the original book is called Anne with an E, so. It's a bit funny, it's like a lot of focus on the name, I would guess, in general. I don't know how to talk about this, like, I don't feel like there's much to spoil. Literally, also the synopsis kind of spoils a lot of the story already. <laughs> like, I'm reading it on it now, and there's stuff here, like, I didn't know what's gonna happen to very late in the book. So there's that. I don't know, there was just... Ah, how to explain it? I, of course, love stories where the main character are queer, they have queer people around there, where the main character is not white and all that. Like, I read a lot of it. It was just how it was just so much focus on the hate and how it was dealt with. Not like by a main character, obviously it's not her fault, but just how all these characters did these horrible things and said so many horrible things and literally the book was bullying the main character, etc, etc. Like, I was gonna say these hate crimes, like literally they're being accused of stuff that are not true, that are very serious stuff. And they're just like, they're ruining their property with slurs and stuff like that. And there's like no consequences. That was what bothered me. And I know maybe in the real world, there is really not consequences because, you know, the real world sucks and they don't care if people are racist and homophobic, which is fine. And I'm not saying like they needed to go to jail. I'm just saying they never have a realization of what they're doing is wrong. And I know people in real life will never get this realization either. But it's just something about this being in a book and how I read Anne of Green Gables. It's really like a sweet, heartfelt story where like you feel bad things will get consequences or like bad things will be answered to. And here there's just no answer. It's just like they were mean. Okay, maybe they will stop a bit. And it was just, it was just no, I was gonna say satisfaction. I don't, I'm not saying as so sad. They don't need to go to jail. They don't need to even say they're sorry. I just wanted like something more, some kind of, I was gonna say, not solution to the conflict either, because it's like literally possible to talk with those kind of people anyway, but there was just something in me that was missing, because they would just keep like throwing out all these things, and there was just no feedback. And for me, that bugged me a lot. I know, as I said in real life, the feedback probably never comes from most people, and I know that, 
But it was frustrating to read about in a book. It was just very depressing. It was just be like, so much shit. And then there was just like no stopping to it. Like literally we had this conversation between two of the characters. And it literally made me uncomfortable with other characters just throwing out like, oh, that's too bad for you because you're like this and this and this. Oh, and that's too bad for you. And you just expect to get everything. And they just, they just kept going and going and going. And I was just, when is this gonna end? And I just wish the book was better at balancing, at least if they have this huge part of the story, focusing on all these things. It was better at balancing the sweet parts to all the horrible parts. Because I feel like the horrible parts just took so much stage time that it just became just a bit like... I was gonna say repetitive. It was just like, oh, these are mean people, these are mean people, these are mean people. That was like all that happened. And I was just like, I'm not gonna do anything more. And I do get that we have a happy part, like we have this school play. Well, our main character is involved in this play. I'm not gonna like spoil like, exactly what the play is and what the role, but like she's involved in this play. People are not happy about it, but she does not care and just goes for it. So I guess that is kind of a way of, of fighting back. I don't think she should need to fight back in the first place. But that is just a way that she can, like, show that she doesn't care what they say, I guess. And I guess, like, that was the conclusion in the end or something. But I was just like, that's not good enough. And just the way that no one of the adults cared, kind of. And how her moms just were dealing with all this shit. And I know, like, they probably used it, like, growing up, etc. But just how they were treated as well. And that no one did anything and no one cared. Or like people care when nothing was done, okay? And then also, you know, I was talking about the property thing. It was weird for me that the main character didn't tell her parents because I feel like that could be dangerous for them. And it bothered me that she didn't tell them at once because I was just like, this could be a dangerous place for you guys now. But she just hit it and yeah, later they do get to talk and stuff. And the book had some nice moments with the parents, had some nice moments with the best friend. She also has like a crush like on this other girl who's friends with the bullies. It's like a whole weird dynamic there. There's a horse present. And I just wish the book focused more on Anne being like this quirky, colorful girl. Because like in the beginning, in the first few pages, she gets bullied for like being colorful. But I like, I never got to meet her colorful self. She instantly dims herself. And I just never got like a feel of her character properly. Like the only parts of her I got a feel of was when she was being bullied. Like that was, <laughs> I just never get to know a main character properly. Like why do people like, everyone kept saying, oh my God, are you wearing a white t-shirt? Are you not gonna wear your usual clothes? But I never got to know her usual clothes because she just dims herself down immediately. I never got to know what people think she's instantly so different, except like yeah, how she's not white and like that she has two moms. Like I wish, we got to know her, but I feel like she wasn't even that quirky and weird. She just liked to sing, and I was just like, it's, that's not that weird. <laughs> uh, like, because in Anne of Green Gables, she instantly gets to meet this character, and she keeps talking and talking and asking questions, and it's just, she's a very intense person at once, which is why she's so char charming, or charming or annoying, you could choose. But here, we just have this normal person, and I was just like, why are people saying she's so weird? Like, I never got the expression of, why? Maybe she wasn't even that weird, maybe the old people were just weird thinking she was weird, I don't even know. There was something, something weird with how it was written for me, it was just like the rhythm of the dialogue was just very large, like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> very like putting in the punches. I don't really have a good example. It is also just trying also to be funny, it is like has funny writing, kind of like small jokes in text, and I like those a lot, but then it was just off-putting because some serious things were happening and then it was just trying to be like our main character seemed 12 because it was just like she was thinking very childishly and then they had these very serious things happening and it was just there were those two things just didn't feel as like connected as it should be or like they felt very like disturbing to each other that, that contrast for me i don't know it's a hard book to talk about like i liked it because like, I think it's an important topic to read about. I think it was like an okay story. I just wish that like, it, it was very much like difficult to follow in a way that it was kind of like childish and cute where my character was like, oh my God, I want to play in this place and I want to sing. And then there was like still these super serious things happening and the super serious stuff was dimmed down, I think. And then just nothing happened with that. As I t talked about earlier. I like the cutest stuff though. I think I wish the book was just cutest stuff. But I do get like. Of course you. It's important to have added in like show stuff as well. I, I'm i not a person who like don't mind reading about that. 
it was just the way it was presented for me. Definitely important, I'm not denying that. I just wish the story was written in a different way. But the same things could have happened, but just how the story was presented, how things played out, etc. I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, so it wasn't like top notch for me. It seems very cute, but I don't feel like it was that cute anymore because it just has like the cutesy feel to it, especially like since Anne of Green Gables, it would be like a feel good story. This is not a feel good story. It is a, a story definitely following different and important topics, but, and it has feel good moments, but yeah, not, not like enough. It was just the way I was trying to describe how it was written, that was hard for me. But I hope you kind of got what I meant. And if I would recommend it, I don't know. I don't know. I think it depends a bit what you expect going into it. But this feel foul for me that story was just a lot of consequences. And it's like not the best constructed story for me. I don't know like who I would recommend it to. But it's not like people would ask me about this and be like, no, I don't recommend it. I would try to explain what it is about and then leave it up to them if there's a book they would want to read. I just, that's how I feel. I don't know how much more to say. I have a hard time explaining my feelings as well. So there's that. I ended up getting a three out of five stars. So three is like, I liked it because it's not like I didn't like it, but I didn't love it. And I didn't like really like it. I just liked it okay. And it was a fast by book that I read and I like, Thought it was more cutesy. I think I would enjoy it more if it was cutesy, but it was also serious. But the serious part, just how it was carried, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's it. Hope you enjoyed this review. That totally makes sense. And yeah, check out my page down below if you want to have lots of reading screens and other fantasy stuff. And leave a flower emoji down below if you enjoy this. There's just there's flowers on the covers. I guess. And uh, you shall see me soon in a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Okay,